Look at these crazies over here. <laughs> All got their cameras out. Okay, so here's Rip a Lip. There's Jessica. Hello. She's a new volunteer with us. <laughs> Troll him around and look at his little mouth open. Look at him doing his thing. Let's see, turning this way so we can see. There we go. Look at that. That is, oh, I want to stick some dewormer down there. Hold on. No, we didn't get time to it. Yep, nope. I'm going to stick some dewormer there because his mouth's wide oh, open. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, he's going to lunge. Yeah. He's going to do what? He's going to still try to lunge. Even though he he's going to lunge, lunge because I'm going to squirt this right down his mouth. Yeah, he can't do anything yeah. to you. Look at you with your little mouth. What? Has he got it? He's got it. It's in there. Better go okay, now awesome. lift him up. Look at his weight. He's got good weight. Everything about him is amazing. Um, but see, this here will probably have to be redone. That, look at that. That is the coolest thing ever, y'all. Look at you. You've been eating and doing good. You're good to go. <laughs> so we'll probably get an MRI of this to see what kind of um, issues we've got going on. And then go from there. Oh, he's got bull, bullfrog legs. Oh my God, that's the weirdest thing ever. Okay, I can't touch him because he looks like a frog. Okay, we're gonna clean out his container and this baby will actually go to Central Mississippi Turtle Rescue on Monday. It's gonna be a combined effort of his rehab. So, pretty cool. All right, here we are at Wild at Heart today. Um, wow, I uh, had my hopes up all day to be able to do something really cool today. But uh, it turns out that this guy doesn't leave us a whole lot to work with. Um, Go ahead, put your head out if you can. Anyway, it turns out that what we're looking at here is a common snapper. Uh, this would be the whole upper beak here, and this would be part of the lower jaw. It turns out that the, the jaw comes out to about right there on that side and to about right here on this side. Um, this guy actually is rather a very old injury. Chances are this happened probably months ago. Um, it's hard for you to tell what did this, but whatever it was, was, uh, was pretty big. Um, probably even a bigger snapper. Um, but whatever it was, uh, as best I can tell, if you look at that divot right there, it looks like it cut straight down through there, and then whatever it was just snapped there and got the rest of this off. So this guy actually could have been a victim of one of his own, or a similar species, like a, um, alligator snapper. Um... Anyway, the mission today was to go ahead and build him a beak, but we needed one thing to be in, intact first, and that was his lower jaw. His lower jaw, as you can tell, there is no bone there whatsoever. Um, how this guy's been surviving is beyond me. The story is, the people that have been watching this guy have been seeing him sunning every afternoon, and of course, all they see is a big dark turtle with a big pink area. Um, his, uh, you'll probably get a chance to watch him breathe here in just a second. I'm gonna close in on his glottis. So through millions of years of evolution, these guys just know to lift their head. And even without eyes, this guy can feel where the level of the water is on his body. Come on, let's breathe for us. You can see it almost wanting to move. Oh, oh, there it is. So he would just bring his whole head out of the water, open up his glottis and breathe, and then go back underwater. <coughs> Probably the reason this guy doesn't have any maggots on him is because he is in the water so much. The maggots just fall off and die. So the flies are on there every afternoon while he's sunning trying to remove that stuff. Um, there's also a lot of debris and stuff in here. Where did my friend go? There it is. There's part of the debris there. Um, the debris in a crack at the upper palate there. <clears throat> you can see the edges of the margins of the bone right there going up. So I was going to try and con connect a, uh, a large... Uh, epoxy type uh, mask to that but this guy's also blind so with all this in mind it just seems kind of cruel to set this guy free um, it's not that he can't enjoy life it's just that it would be a bigger struggle for him than most and we just don't think that'd be fair all right so anyway we're gonna send this guy to Jesus I can't even tell you how much equipment is in the front seat of my car to have fixed him so we got this far there's just not enough here to work with and even he's still going to need, if I put a mask on him, he's still going to need to be able to see what he's uh, he's aiming his, his new beak at. And he just can't do that. And we need to make a beak. I still need a lower jaw. And we don't have that either. So we are way behind. <laughs> way behind in getting this guy fixed. So I apologize to you, little dude. Um, heaven, I'm told, is a very nice place. All right. Later.